four na tayo. Isa na lang ang kailangan na panalo ng Alaska para maging kampiyon ng ating PBA Smart Bro Philippine Cup. Papayag ba ang San Miguel? Ali, it was a very long first quarter because of the penalty situation we were in, but both teams were trying to establish the rhythm over the other. Oh, definitely. And uh, I think how many times they were, they were in the penalty, but there's a nice shot attack from the middle from Cal to Puebla. And then on the other end, Gabby Espinas, who could have been the player of the game. And in the second quarter, well, a much faster pace, Dr. Jay. Well, point lead at the end of the first quarter, San Miguel came back and stayed in the game just simply because of the shooting of Lasko. You're going to see that as you already go down. But Alaska was tough. Baggio has really been shooting, but the lead was cut down to six because Lasko scored 12 points in that quarter. But you know, in the third quarter, beginning to feel well, it was Alaska's kind of night. Yes. Um, and I had no idea what was going to happen later on. Well, at one point, they were... They were they had the lead in double figures. I think about 10 points. More than that, 14. 14 points. And in the fourth quarter, here come the surprises. Well, this was first, but that was a great pass to Gabby Spinas, and then he finished off the three. This was like their comeback here. Don Don Antiveros fouled out after that. And then this pass by Tubi. Goal tending was called here against uh, the Alaska Milkman. And then what a spectacular shot here. Well, this was the triple ball being thrown away. No, not when he attacked, and the ball, the ball was reversed, which is very important for San Miguel. They were up by one at this stage, but then they fouled Arwin, I think I remember, and then he made the two free throws. Then Ross got the rebound again. Yeah. Who else? Yeah. And then two bit giving up and getting fouled here. He made both free throws. He was so important. Clutch free throws. I like your point earlier, Ali, when you say, concentrate on nothing more, make the first one, Make those free throws. The most important thing in this type of situation, don't even think about what's at stake. You play as you play every night. Good point. Good point. And then the huge surprises continued in this game. Well, this is, I think, overtime already. You know, yeah, no. There's the, uh, they want to give it up. Down. This was just instilling regulation. And then eventually you have to give it up. I mean, at what point we're worried about the eight second violation? Arvin misses both free throws. So it was a one point game. But look, he gets the rebound. Small man Ross, ball bounces to you. So I'm mean, also a believer that you should always have a rebound. Yeah. Because even a small man can get the rebound. You don't know where the ball is going to bounce. I don't know why, Nobody some, knows that. I don't know why some teams don't put rebounders sometimes. I hate that. <laughs> yeah, and this guy did not give up. Same with this guy, yeah. Ali. Chris, Chris Ross has just been the spark. Uh, for this San Miguel beer team this whole night, not giving up and you know, just being an inspiration to the San Miguel team, especially in that late, the late part of the game. Then suddenly Cyrus Bagro reintroduced himself to everybody. Well, that was a tough shot. He kept playing last play. He shot him off from going to the left, where he could pick up the ball. So he had to come back and reverse. But that guy just made a big shot to send the game, ball game to overtime. The shot was straight. <laughs> I mean, it looked good from where we're, yeah. we're sitting. And then in overtime, early surge by the Milkman, by the Aces rather, but then it was all San Miguel. Yeah, four straight points by Ross, the same. Then Cabagnot gives them a three-point lead with a three-point shot. And then Yancy Del Campo comes in, makes a big shot. That's five points right there, right now. One of his sweet spots, Yancy Del Campo, a shooting big man. Final surge, but too many turnovers by Alaska, and the victory was carved out by San Miguel tonight. So the series is stretched, it's extended, at least to a game five. Excellent substitution by uh, Leo Austria at the end as well. I think you can come to I think Alex really puts the ball game well. Unfortunate that they had too many turnovers in the end game. Everybody gave it was like a chess game, really. It's a chess, yeah, chess match played well by both coaches. Yes, indeed. Finally, two grandmasters uh, going at each other. And the matter of moments, the game is over yeah. here. But look at this. He gets the ball. There's the foul. The referee made the call, so he goes to the free throw line because the other team is in penalty. And that is the final count.